Well, today is Sarah Palin's last full day as governor of Alaska. And before stepping down tomorrow, she's meeting with residents at three different picnics across the state. More than a thousand people turned out for Governor Palin's annual picnic in her hometown of Wasilla yesterday. And NBC's Nora O'Donnell is live in Fairbanks, where Governor Palin will attend another picnic tomorrow. So, Nora, with another Saturday morning, good morning to you. Uh, what is Sarah Palin saying ahead of stepping down as governor? She is saying thank you to the people of Alaska, but she's saying very little about her own political future, which, of course, is what everybody wants to know. What's next for Sarah Palin? We know, of course, that she has signed a book deal that's going to be published, uh, that book, next spring, so she's got to get to work on that. We know she's got nearly a million dollars in a political account that she can use to campaign across uh, the country, and she says she wants to affect change from outside the governor's office because she doesn't want to have to deal with frivolous ethics complaints. She's fed up with those. So this is very interesting as we watch Sarah Palin. Thousand people showed up in Wasilla, her hometown, yesterday. She's in Anchorage today uh, at picnics there, uh, talking to the people of Alaska, saying goodbye. And then she's headed north here to Fairbanks, where she's going to officially hand over power to the lieutenant governor in a big ceremony. There are going to be thousands of people uh, here in Fairbanks uh, for that. So a big event tomorrow. She steps down as governor with still a year and a half left on her term. Alex? Mm. Okay. Uh, as promised last hour, we've been able to see just a beautiful backdrop. Can you tell us where you are there reporting? Sure. Well, Fairbanks is pretty far north uh, here in Alaska. We're a few uh, hundred miles north of even Anchorage, and we're actually standing on the, the Chena River. Rhymes with uh, Tina behind us, so I'll just sort of walk and show you. And actually, we're just not far from our uh, uh, hotel, uh, the Princess, which is, if you've been touring in Alaska before, a lot of people stay uh, certainly at this hotel. Um, Pat Buchanan is still sleeping upstairs. No, I'm just kidding. We didn't bring Pat with us. <laughs> even though he wishes he were here, because as you and I both know, he's a huge Sarah Palin oh gosh, uh, fan. But no, Pat's still back at. Yeah, I know exactly. <laughs> I know. But what's you know, it is it is beautiful. It is beautiful out here, Alex.